What's up, everybody? JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Classic Lanes here in Rochester Hills, Michigan, where we're going to look at that Incognito by Radical. Uh, you saw how much I like that Radical Results Solid. Let's see if I like this one any better. Uh, I don't remember the layout on it, uh, so we'll look at it, and then I'll tell you in the next portion of the video. But uh, we're going to take it out here again on another beat-up condition. So I'm, I'm giving you guys these looks on something a little different than a fresh condition so you can really make an educated decision on whether the ball is good for you or not. Uh, because just what you see on the fresh condition, that's not normally enough uh, to get you to understand what the ball is really capable of. So we like to take them out here on some of the beat-up conditions just uh, once in a while. And then I'll take them out also, and I'll take them out on a fresh pattern. So we're going to take it out here, 42-foot, used lead condition. Uh, but we're going to take a look and see what this ball's got here in a minute. Stay tuned. Here we go, we're gonna look at this incognito from my friends over at Radical, Mr. Mo and Phil. They did a good job with that Radical Results Solid. You saw how much I liked that thing. So hopefully we get the same thing out of this. So what did this end up being? So this actually is the same layout as that Radical Results. So it is, what was it, 55 or 65 by five by uh, 75. So it puts that pin just below my middle finger um, and the CG kicked a little right with that mass bias down below the thumb to the right. So here we go. Start that 8, 9, 10. I sat too long. I should have threw a warm-up shot before I jumped right back into this video. My kid's over here blowing stuff up with scissors. That ain't good. Throw those away, bud. We don't want to... You already cut it open, so start throwing them away. You're getting juice all over. Crud. I think I just stepped on it. <laughs> well, hopefully I don't stick on the lane. But, all right. Let's try that again. Get it doing the right thing. I'm gonna move a little right and get that fudge knuckler going. There we go. That ball likes the fudge knuckler. There we go. Go throw it away, bud. All right. So let's start moving left. I'm really excited to see this thing going left because of what I saw out of the radical results solid. Now again, it's an asymmetric, but I did do it pinned down. So it should continue A-OK -okay as we go left. But time will tell. Now we'll get to that 13, 14, 15 area. All right. So that was smooth and continuous. So that one it didn't quite pick up the front like some of the other ones you saw. That one didn't really overhook in the front. It just hooked in the middle of the lane and it kept going. So we're gonna keep going left with it. And this next shot should be just fine. I'll make that foreboard move like I do in the other videos. And this should be perfect. slower than I expected. It wasn't a great shot, it wasn't perfect, but I expected it to pick up the lane better than that, down lane. And again, you gotta remember, this isn't a fresh pattern. So it may appear slower down lane, a little bit more arky and loopy down lane than it will on a fresh pattern. I'm gonna redo these again on a fresh pattern but I wanted to get these out there and so you guys could see them now at least right away. Oh, I got some of my kids' junk on my foot. Dang it. All right, sorry, I had to take a little intermission there to clean up my boy's mess and get my shoe all fixed up. He had these little wet beads all over the floor. 
Uh, my shoe's still not good, but that's all right. All right, so I'm gonna go back to that foreboard move again and try that again. Let's see if I can't get it to do the right thing. Oh. I stood up on it because I was afraid I was gonna stick. So the next few shots should be okay. I didn't stick, so that's good. I'll just stay on the approach and I'll be fine. <laughs> All right, keep going left. We'll go five more left, 18, 19-ish. I, I like the way, I like the way it reads the middle of the lane and then just kind of floats and then it tries to read it again. So it doesn't read it and go hard to the left. It reads it, it tries to float, and then it goes a little bit more. If that makes sense to anybody. It makes sense to me. <laughs> All right, a little further left. So it's giving you the illusion that it's not a very good ball reaction. You think it's not, but it's still striking. So I might have to, when I go left, I might have to just throw this a little further to the right to get it to really shape the right way. So now we're up against the ball return. Get it to the right. Yeah, so it really comes off of it there. So that's good. And throw a few more further left. And I think I, if I were to compare this to the radical results, I think this is just cleaner than what the result solid is. But I mean, it's a black and gray ball, so it's gotta be good. All right. I'm gonna get a fifth arrow. See, it just picks up and goes. I like it. From in there, it picks up and goes. So that's exactly why I like pinned down from in there, you know, on a solid bowling ball. At least I don't know if this is solid. It looks solid. Could be a hybrid, who knows? Again, me not knowing my bowling balls. <laughs> but it looks solid and it's got some surface on it. So we'll go with that. But I like the pin down shapes because they round off the back. They don't give you that hook stop usually. Just like that, it splits the eight nine. It gets it going off of it and then it just drives through the pins. It doesn't hook stop and then deflect. So like where if I throw, let me show you, I'll try and throw this Black Widow in that same spot. And again, it's a pin down layout. The Black Widow, if you guys remember, but the difference is, is this one's got a half inch stronger pin. Does it make enough of a difference? I don't know, but this much stronger core, I can tell you that. At least generally, you would think. See so yeah, how that one hook stops and then kind of goes to the right off the pins? Because it just makes such a sharp motion off of the dry. So that's what's kind of cool about these difference in these bowling balls. All right, there we go. There's that Incognito by Radical. Now it's again, it's another good, strong bowling ball that's very continuous going through the pins. They're notorious for making these bowling balls that actually react down lane and continue through the pins. They don't just stop for the most part. You know, so uh, when we're trying to choose a bowling ball, we're always looking for that ball that's gonna read the middle of the lane and then make its motion and continue. Uh, we're not necessarily looking for the strength off the middle of the lane or the really, really the jerk off of it. Uh, but we're looking for roundness down there. Radical right now, in my opinion, I think has the best bowling balls on the market for creating that type of emotion. Uh, can't really judge 
the down lane motion of any of the shiny stuff. I haven't really drove any of the shiny stuff much from them, um, but we've seen that web MB and the shininess out of that. You saw how good it was down lane. So you can make a choice for yourself which ball you want. But if you want this incognito, make sure to hit the link in the description. It'll take you over to bowlerx.com and get yours today. But until next time, guys, I'm out of here. We'll see you later.